Hello everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. Welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, welcome if you've never been here to my channel. Uh, I wanted to do a flip of the Wizard of Oz coloring book by Frank L. Baum, illustrated by Charles Santori. This is my first Charles Santori book and it is gorgeous. Um, I happened to find this at Ollie's. It is printed by Applesauce Press. It says visit us on the web at www.cidermillpress.com. I, I found my copy at Ollie's, which is a discount store. I like to tell people it's the way uh, Big Lots was when they were still Odd Lots years ago, because um, they just buy out stuff. But they, they always have a lot, a lot of coloring books. Um, and so every once in a while I go and I found this one and it is still available on Amazon. I think it came out in 2017. It says 2017, I think. But anyway, you can still find it. I think it's like $8 on Amazon. Or you can run out to Ollie's and see if you can find one. Um, it's grayscale. It's gorgeous. It's like 10 and a half by 10 and three quarters. So it's a, an interesting size. Um, this is like an eight and a half. This is a normal size. So you can see how it kind of sticks out <laughs> um but i haven't seen this book a lot so i thought i would do a flip so if people were interested they could go find it and it's gonna be hard to flip because it's <laughs> so big but um they give you i believe there's examples in the front and the back of all of the images colored which is really cool i love this this is my favorite picture of the lion in the poppies just love it. Oh, I like that one too. Um, I think I'm going to have to get more Charles Santori books. Um, so in the beginning, it gives you, and they're all grayscale, which is gorgeous. The tornado, and then it gives you a bit of the story that you can read. And then every, the rest of them are all a part of the book, kind of like a small excerpt, and then um, a grayscale image. So all the pages look like this with something, so I'm not really going to show you those. Um, but the pictures, you have to see the pictures. And I have to try to keep it in frame because it wants to scoot the other way. But um, let me see if I can just make it a little bit bigger. There we go. These big ones are always difficult to keep in frame. Yellow Brick Road. Oh, that could be so gorgeous. I, for whatever reason, can see Emma Colors 2020 coloring this. <laughs> I think because she was doing a Brick Road not too long ago. But I just wanted to do a quick flip of the images. Oh, I like this one so much too. And it's not huge, so, I mean, if you wanted to finish this book, it would not be hard. It would be a nice little project book. I didn't look to see how many pages are in it. Oh, the witch. Nice. That's a good one, too. Throwing water on her. I wish there was a picture of her melting. <laughs> the wizard. These are just great pictures. I can't turn the page. The balloon. And Dorothy back home. And then in the back, the rest of examples of the rest of the images colored. Which this would be a neat effect to try. I've never done anything like that, but to make everything that would be a good challenge but it's great um so here you go that was a flip of the wizard of oz coloring book i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video bye